to another video. Uh, on this video, I'll be doing the demo, uh, Twitter demo, but not using web forms. On this one, using the MVC uh, 3 framework. Uh, after this video, if you have any questions, you can uh, follow me on Twitter and send me your questions, and I'll answer those as soon as possible. Or you can follow me on Facebook or on YouTube. Either way, I'll get your question. But to get started, uh, this is part one. Uh, this is about how we can authorize um, your website with a user account. We'll try it out. Right now, we should go, it should take us to the authorization page on Twitter. We'll say it, we'll go in. Uh, the settings on this one, it's set to, oh, you probably already know, but you can set your own image, uh, your name, uh, your domain, and a quick description. Uh, and what I'm be doing right I, on this um, program, it's it has it's requesting the read and write access. So later on, you can take all take the you know the permissions away from this application, but you can run it to see how it works. So I'll go in. As you can see, it took us back to our website, and it's telling me right here that my username on Twitter is Cafe ASP. Now uh, this setting is really important to know when you're setting your uh, application uh, callback URL it needs to match this whole thing. It needs to match the entire URL, your domain, whatever else you have in your site and your URL that needs to come back to. If not, it's not going to work. So to see how this works, I'll just stop um, the demo. Here back on this studio, uh, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you go into your web settings and add your key to it. Now once you have your key done, uh, the second thing you need to go is into your well before you do that you actually have to come here and add the library package reference and what I did is really simple I went in here I did online and here I did Twitter type Twitter some reason it tells you no found but later on a few seconds later it says found so what I, I'm using this uh, API tweak sharp and all I did was click install like install this button I already did so that's what you need to do click install for this guy just wait and you will add a bunch of libraries to your project or solution then close it and when you come back here uh, you'll see that you have a few libraries that you didn't have before to shop. So after that, then you go to the home uh, folder or home controller. And the next thing you need to do is add the namespace to sharp and add this one too because uh, this is required so you can pull uh, your consumer key and the secret. From your web config so this is how you do it this is how you pull it um, it's a good idea to have it on the web config because you have it in one place and you can reuse it all over the place so after you have that done the next thing you do is um, there's nothing fancy here on the index so this is not even required uh, the next thing you need to do is write this uh, this in, in the controller this is one of the actions that's gonna happen and what's happening here is like in the other demo 
with web forms is basically the same code. The only thing that I changed was the the callback URL. Now I'm using this Apple Mac Store Bookstore Mac Store MacBookstore.com. Um, not sure why I had that domain, but that's what I'm using for this demo. But anyways, the important or the key uh, on this um, code right here is that you need to have a valid URL comeback, and this has to match in your uh, dev.twitter.com page where you're setting up your program or your AMP settings or your permission, your API with Twitter, you need to set it, this needs to match. So from the web forms, nothing has changed other than that. Uh, here we're sending the user. When they clicked on it, uh, this action is going to come and redirect the user uh, to authenticate or authorize the your website. So we're sending, we're telling the browser, send the user or redirect to this URL. Uh, once they type their password and the username and click login, uh, Twitter is going to send them back to this link. And you need to be prepared to check the token, token secret uh, from the URL. So here's how you do it. It's really easy. Nothing has changed again from the late from the last uh, uh, video that I did with uh, web forms. Uh, the only thing I think it changed actually nothing has changed. Maybe this. I'm sure this did change because I think I'm using that. But anyways, uh, all you're doing here is sending back or grabbing the the screen name and dump it into the message view back and you return the view um, so I'll go back to the view here uh, once you once they authorize your website they'll come back here and say hey uh, your username is gonna say your username is screen name on this page nothing fancy um, go back up here now to get this trigger uh, you go back I'm using the index page but you can change it but what I've done on this one is go back here go back home this button so we're at this part right now with the demo so what I've done is on this um, uh, input button it's an HTML no server control just the basic HTML button. Um, what I've done is I created this. Uh, I'm using the begin form helper, and by default, this guy will take the home uh, controller. But uh, we're on the index page, so it probably is thinking I need to go here to this action, but. I'm telling it right now. You need to take this action in the based on the controller that I want to. So all you do is say begin, passing the action in the controller. So you need to do this if you're using the index page, because by default it will take the home index. But right now I'm telling it a specific value or a specific action to take. Just gonna be this portion of it. So that's all. Then you add a just a line break or between this guy and the button here. Nothing fancy. And I have my type as submit. So so that's takes action. Now after you have logged in and authorized, you're not going to that page anymore. As you can see, we're just going back to to the callback because Twitter already knows uh, you're logged in there's no need to authorize again so that's all for this video uh, in the next video I'll be going over how can we you know modify this demo 
and add a text box and a button to submit the the, the changes or send tweets uh, to to Twitter so basically I'll be doing this just like I did on this demo uh, using the same API as you can see this one is working pretty good I just sent this one a few minutes ago so it's working as it should and if you have any questions again so you can follow me on Twitter or on, um, on Facebook thank you for watching